why are you clamping that thing on? Because the mag isn't effective. Because we've got a lip, it's only getting half contact. For your first effort, mate. Yeah. Take that up. Spearful. Yeah. I just need Almost a through. I'm going to get the hammer. Yeah, there's right? one in that box there. Gotcha. Alright. Oh, right. um, He's showing off now, Dan. I've noticed that about you. When something goes right, you show off. <laughs> That's not very often then, is it? Wrong, you hide it. Don't worry, we won't film this. Yeah. I'd be Stephen Queen rather than Lee Evans, I've got to say, but... I think I'd rather Lee Evans... I don't know, who's got the most money, Drake? Oh, Stephen Queen, easily. I don't know, um... Yeah. Oh, yes, I suppose. He's dead, though. Yeah, yeah. What do you want to be, a comedian or a womanising stud? <laughs> Both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now it's time to get the steel in. Now we had this steel manufacturers. This is a special from Keystone Lintels and they will make up steels to suit. So we had this one made in two parts, bolted it together because we thought it would be easier to handle it. But having got it in place, we've bolted it up. We think we're gonna lift it in one go with a genie and only one genie in the middle. So wish us luck there. And what we're gonna do is bolt it up, slide it in, in theory, on top and then remove the plate that's already there so we've bolted this plate on now that's gone on very nicely and let's hope that that's enough to just hold it together apart from this middle bit here i think that that beams we can we'll leave it in there for a bit of insurance but, i would because yeah but that yeah. should just slide straight out as yeah it's just rubbing on that middle bit loose as a goose so let's, right, let's so uh, just slide this up a bit that yeah. clamp is the centre. That's the centre of the steel. Yeah. If we have this bolt about there. Yeah, okay. If, and put that slightly off centre, we can just pick it up and then slide it. Do you reckon we get that much slide on the... Yeah, yeah. That's it. Right, so we're a little bit off centre, but I don't think that's such a problem. Now get right on the edge of that board, Rog. Tell me what's happening yeah, up that end. Yeah, done. Move the genie this way. Now the sensible thing to do when you're lifting a beam of this length is to have two genie lifts, one on each end, and coordinate the manoeuvre. But we've got to get this forward through this doorway. So even if we had another one there, we would hit a brick wall. So that's why we're going to balance it. We've got it finely balanced now, and we're just going to lift it gently. Do nothing in a hurry, that's my motto. We're just about to get those forks under that joist, yeah? Yeah, that's it about there. Right, should we try and slide it in then? Yeah. I'm going to go as far as I can, then you get swap over, you know what I'm saying? That's it. Oh, yeah. yeah that's it. I don't think there's enough in them, down. No. Bit of four by two. Yeah, I've got it all. Can you grab us a block of wood, please, Rog? It's sagging in the middle. It's just stopping us from getting that beam under. So we're just going to lift it very slightly with a prop in the middle. And then it should slide in like a stocking on a chicken's leg. So right in the middle then have yes. those forks, yeah? Yeah. Okay. That's it, Roger. You reckon that's enough? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Better be. There it's sagging. Is it? Just where above Dylan's head. Right. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's only the outriggers. Isn't it? Yeah. It's not a choice, it's no, the no. outrigger. Yeah. It's dropped slightly. Yeah. So that'd be a piece of cake. That's it. That's it, that should go in there now. We've got penny clearance. Forward, but just keep watching as we're doing it. Yeah, that's it. There you go. Oh, it's on one bit there. That's it, it's got the roof now. It's gonna, it wants to push it out of the way now. Right. To me, that's it. Okay. Yep. What are you right. going to do with Leave it Leave it now. Right, I'm going to put that on the ground behind you. Are you right on your own, Roger? Yeah, of course. I've been on my own all my life. 
That's better than quite happening that one now. Brakes are on. Yeah. Are, they, are they on? They are at the moment. That's all you want in life, isn't it? Yeah. That's it. Better than sex. Yeah, that's it. It should be for level with the front of the brickwork. The front. Metal, just behind it, maybe 10 mil. Right. Okay. Beautiful. That's it, we've landed. Right, I'm, it's gonna, I'm just going to lift this down. There's a reason why we screwed them on, isn't there, Rog? So I didn't want to cut the timbers in half yet. That's right. I want to keep these a full length. Yeah. I've got to say, mate, that's pretty good. It's level all round, all round. in all four planes. I can't even get a shower tray in that level. <laughs> it go down now, yeah? It was just because it had a load on it, I think. Yeah. Yep, that's it. Oh, I need some more screws. Good man. Okay, you're out, you're out the loop now, Dan. So if you're putting joist hangers in, you're a DIYer and you think, oh, I can do that, put those joist hangers in. Don't use galvanised nail straight ones. Use these ones, which are square nails which have been twisted. When they go in, they go in. They take a lot of getting out if you ever have to get these out. This guns are right, the minute it's a little it's not it can take good, they're rubbish. <laughs> now a warm roof is when you put all the insulation on top and therefore you don't need to ventilate underneath. So long as you've got a vapour barrier, you can stop the moisture coming up through the roof. Sometimes it's hard to be a plumber. Because we need this really spot on then. Yeah for that lantern to go on top, that Cornish lantern to go on top, I think what we ought to do is just maybe fix the corners and then I can shim them. But if yeah. we screw them, yeah. I can ease the screw and yeah. put a shim. Yeah, you can get it nice and flat. Yeah. So we've got to get this fixed down because the guys at Mayfair Trade are waiting for the measurements and uh, we don't want to give them fresh air. It's my end, mate. It's all very well. He's out for any kind of victory, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> do you know why? It's all me, 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 you. It's so, it's low self-esteem. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Well, you're just jealous because People. you didn't build the shard like Dan did. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> The doctor said I've got to increase my vegetable intake and that's how I ended up with a carrot up my I, I ended up with a strawberry up my <laughs> See the doctor and he said he's got some cream for it. <laughs> Red snooker balls for breakfast, two yellow snooker balls for lunch and a blue for tea. He said not enough greens. Do you say that Dan's got an invention? <laughs> yeah. The ultimate roofing square. He hasn't got it with him today. Or the one he made just before the ultimate roofing yeah. square. <laughs> so basically, I think he just wants to go that way, literally a couple of mil. Which way? Like that to you, so there's like a little bit of a lip there. It's so like we invented that then, didn't it? Yeah. Like, uh, if you look at deliberate, see that there is just a couple of mil lip. Should we put a level on it and see how flat it is across there? Or we're gonna just fix it down. We'll put the top on, fix the top. Yeah, fix the top, you won't get the screw very. Yes, I easy. will. Yeah, I'll get a little right angle driver or, or, yeah, okay. just, or bring them in at an angle, yeah. mate, whatever. It's just I've got them timber locks. If you want to use them, they're going in and out a few times, all right. We use the full fast construction screw with the hex head on it. Yeah. Yeah, because that way I can get the little right angle driver in there. It, we just get it out easy, can't you? You don't round off or not no, full, full that'd fast be nice. never round off. We do that and then what I do is I'm gonna come around with some packers, I'm gonna get a string line over the top of it. I'll probably get the laser involved in it. Have two corners or not? Yeah, can do if you want.
Ja auch. Das ist besser. So a furring strip is something a lot of people have cut up in the timber yard. They give them the dimensions and they run them through the bandsaw. But Dan's doing it here on site. The idea of the furring strip is that we need a fall on the roof. So we've set the roof in level because obviously you want a nice level ceiling and we've got the lantern going on top. So we need it level for that. But at some point you've got to get the water to run away off the roof. So you need a fall. And the fall is produced by these furring strips, which are basically just wooden wedges going from 40 mil at one end to zero at the other. So Dan's cutting them down. He's cut one at an angle already, and then this one is the next one. So if he cuts this one parallel with the edge, he's already got another furring strip cut on that same angle. Then, unfortunately, he's got to begin the whole process again on the remaining bit, and that's where it gets tricky because you're working on a much thinner bit of timber. But he's a talented guy, he's done it before. When, when you're using a circular saw like this, sometimes what happens is the back tends to cut up and pinch on the blade. So I just get some bits of scrap like that, stick anything in there just as a little wedge, just opens the back of the cut up slightly, makes it easier. So what's your two minute tip then? Well Rog, when you're holding this nicely for me, can you please keep your foot off the lead to oh. stop me coming along? <laughs> Is that why you're not making much progress? <laughs> That's why I thought the saw was a bit blunter than what it was. I'm just pulling your back every time. You keep on me lead. All right, mate, I'll stay off it. So I just want to ask you one more question, Dan. I've yep. seen that you've modified this bench of yours yep. and you've put some grooves in here, yeah? Yeah, That's it, yeah. What's that all about? So when I've got sheet material and yeah. you're cutting it because it's like nearly a metre wide. Yeah, yeah. You get a 4x2 now. And it just stops it sliding. So I'm sick to death. Oh, okay. If you put a sheet material on there, and that slides the next thing you're wearing it. So it just, it don't hold it solid. No, but it no. just stops it sliding Fight. a little bit. So you put one in there, one in there. I've got, I've got, got, four, a, I've four, got a few little grooves, yeah? few grooves. <laughs> Do what you want. Really, so you still you? put sheet material straight on it, but I just made that a half inch ply. Yeah, yeah. Little recess. Good. And um, another one. Is that another one of your inventions? Well, uh, I don't make inventions, just a modification. Well, let's call it a two minute tip. Two minute tip, is <laughs> it? Two minute tip.